partnership to me with a parent um, has different levels or different phases as you are beginning a relationship. When um, you're first coming into a partnership with a parent, you are basically teaching them a lot of new information um, because they don't generally know anything about having a child with hearing loss or a child who is deaf or might need a cochlear implant or hearing aids. And so at first you're just giving them the information that they're gonna need to make good decisions. But you have to remember as a partner that although you have all this information to share, the parent is the expert on their child. And so when you partner together with a parent, it's important for the parent to be empowered that they are the expert with their child and that decisions are made based on what their values and needs are and what their goals are. So it's important for me to remember that going forward when I partner with a parent and um, make sure that I'm giving them information and support that's going to help their values and needs um, as they try to attain spoken language for their child or reach their child's cognitive potential in spoken language. As the parent becomes more aware of um, what the world is like um, with having a child with a hearing loss and going through the process of getting technology that's going to meet their child's needs. My eventual goal is to work myself out of a job. I don't want to continue to have a parent that needs my support. I want to basically have a parent that can be empowered to become their child's advocate and their child's primary therapist so that once the child gets to school age, the parent's well on their way to getting the needs that may still need to be involved with um, therapy or educational um, standards, but they have the skills to do that on their own.